I welcome treaty and non-treaty people. I am your host, Ben Hookset. And today we're gonna to do some drift boat fishing just before the winter gets here. Today I'm fishing with a good friend here I haven't seen in a long time. His name's James. James, give a wave to the camera. Yeah, there he is. This guy is a great guide and uh, he loves multi-species angling. It's in his bio on his TikTok, which is collective species angling. So we're drift boating in the Treaty 18 area, looking for big steelhead, because that's when they're starting to rest up and spawn up in these rivers. So far, we've already had luck with one. Here's the footage. Oh, that's a cute, look at that. Silver's the color. Oh, look at that. Look at the slab. That, that's sick, man. That is absolutely yeah, sick. Look at the collars. And we found that still water is not our friend today. So we found some foam lines off of some swifts and uh, we're, we're having some luck. In the very beginning stages of our trip, so we got lots to show you. Stick around, we'll see how it turns out. Let's get some more fish. You probably see it behind me here. That this swift kind of tapers into a V. And when that fast moving current aerates the water, it creates a lot of foam. And when it creates a lot of foam, that's where you know the trout have found home. Foam is home for trout. So we found a really great ideal habitat for it. Let's see if uh, foam is home is true. Let's do it. So I've been asked before, what is my setup when fishing for trout? First off, what I caught that last fish on, this number two Mepsagila silver, or the float fishing. Take your float, this is a 6.2 I believe. Yeah, a 6.2 gram. Got my split shots here, micro swivel. And then I have a size 12 octopus hook. So super small, attached to a roll bag. You don't have to use a roll bag. I started with worms and it works just fine. I want to make my roll work because I cured it. So let's see it. Oh, he's got one. Oh, he's got one. Oh, he's got one. Oh, he's got one. He's just doing a little tutorial and he hooks up. Catch Soft him. bite just like yours. Yeah, right super gentle. Ooh, big belly flash. Going on a run. Oh. No! No! <laughs> oh, well, we know that the Clio, the silver, blue and silver Clio, let's get that close up. Yeah, that's. Too. Silver's doing justice, alright. These didn't snap you off. Yeah. Alright, we cast a little bit more, but I think we kind of spooked out the hole. We're gonna move on. There's lots more good spots ahead of us. All right, well, it's getting around noon hour, and uh, it's pretty good because we both hooked into a fish. You know, now this spot's also really good habitat. We have a swift, I don't just, yeah, you can see it swift, like uh, fast moving water here, creating some foam. As you can kind of see, it slows out a bit here, but this actually would be a good feeding ground because it wouldn't take a whole lot of energy, to, energy exertion for the trout to sit in this pool and still have food drift down. Now, when I was here with Travis a couple weekends ago, I hooked into two here. One was just a little baby and the other one was sizable, lost it because I was worried it was gonna break a rod. Anyway, we're gonna get a fire going and we're gonna have some shore lunch with some, uh, 
some deer meat. So we've got trout, we got wild game, and beauty day. Love it. Ready for that at all? Can we do both here or something? Yeah, you gonna go. Oh. I think this is the pan size I was looking for, man. Nice. Nice. Woo. The lunch bite <laughs> is real. Yeah. The second time that we've got one on lunch hour. Like I was, <laughs> I was just getting my hands like set up on the reel and then I seen the thing go down. Look at that little Such beauty. A pretty fish. Wow. And wearing the gloves protects the fish slime, so that's uh, partially a reason why I'm doing that as well. Look at that. Gorgeous. Another lunch bite. <laughs> another lunch bite. There you have it, another decent bite. And on a roll bag I wasn't even confident with. That's fine. How's your product? Yeah. Delicious. Damn. Uh, I was saying to James, that was, uh, that was really eye-opening and now I really see the appeal of hunting. That was the nicest steak I think I've ever had. <laughs> As you can see, it's starting to get into the evening hours. Well, evening hours, it's like at the most three o'clock. This is a spot that we were at uh, last year and uh, was able to pull one out. So hopefully we can replicate that good memory and catch another one out of this hole. Sorry. Sorry, oh my god. Oh, oh, buddy. That is staying on this time. It's gonna stay on this time. It's gonna stay on this time. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Your GoPro's going? Your GoPro is going. Oh, it's gonna stay. You better stay on there. You better stay on there. Oh, what an aggressive fish. Stay out of the fish. Oh, look at the size of that thing. Go for it. Go for it. Oh. <laughs> Oh. I can smell the death of the raccoon. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I can't hold on to it. Wow, that was burping at me. Whoa! That fresh steelhead. It bumped me twice, once with the spinner and once with the float. And finally committed to it on the on the third drift after a retie. Damn. 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 Now it probably spooked the whole hole. Now it is. Oh that's it. My intuition was right. I was like, I'm pretty sure I can get one more. Oh, damn. Good fish, good fat. Holy, holy chungus. <laughs> oh my God, it's so fat. <laughs> holy crap. The stomach on this thing. Ended it on a good note too. I just kind of felt it. I was like, yeah, I haven't checked that side yet. Oh, look at that fluorescent shine. This is the size of my arm, quite literally. And it's female, because you can tell that there's no um, bottom hook on that jaw, or hook on that bottom jaw. Spots. Spots to resemble rocks. We're gonna end it off on a good note there with that big fish. <clears throat> it's been a really successful day out on the water with my buddy James here. Caught a few. Caught a few. He hooked into one, couldn't quite land it, but he got to feel a fish after how long? A month? A month or so. Yeah. That's ridiculous for a fisherman. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe, hit the little notification bell to know when I post next. Got more stories coming. We got ice fishing right around the corner. So I'll see you on the next trip. Have a good day.